Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we are going to draw a rooster. So I hope you like it and I hope you draw it with me. And if you do draw it, please send it to my Facebook or my Instagram account so I can feature it in my next upcoming video. All the information is in the description box below for you to send it to me or to just connect with me and tell me how you like these drawings and if you have any requests for me to draw for next time don't forget to let me know by commenting below I would love to draw what you want me to draw so I can show it to you guys and I know you will enjoy it and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day and along the way while we draw today I'm going to give you some fun facts about roosters today I'm going to use uh, the website backyardpoultry.imcountryside.com it's a long website uh, to read uh, but that's the website that I chose to read the fun facts from so as you can see we are already done with the head part of the rooster and we're going to start drawing the body and the tail and it's going to be a colorful one so I hope you really really like it and uh, stay until um, I show you how to color it as well and I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like at the end and I also have a few other bird drawings uh, that I've done for you so you can check that out at the end of the video I will put the playlist for the drawings of the birds uh, for you to check if you are interested and to give you some fun facts roosters lead to self-sufficiency most backyard flock owners are looking for some level of control over the quality of their food whether it will be eggs meat or both a rooster gives you control over the destiny of your flock and ultimately your food. No longer are you dependent on ordering day old chicks or hatching eggs. If you've got an incubator or even better a broody hen then you can expand your flock as it suits your needs. Remember that about half of the eggs you hatch will be roosters so each hatch can bring some new layers along with meat for the freezer well there you go well the uh, website I chose today to read you the fun facts it's called backyardpoultry.imcountryside.com so it, that's why probably it talks about um, like killing them and using them for meat and about eggs as well but it's interesting to know how um, eggs come about not a lot of people know that So going back to the drawing now you can see that we're just doing the finishing touches of the rooster before we go into coloring and I'll show you how to color it as well I'm gonna use a lot of colors bright colors because they come they have really nice colors those roosters the tummy area is a different color and the feathers and other like the tail area is a different color and the head area is like orange like fire um, so I wanted to incorporate all those colors into my drawing so I'm gonna use a lot of colors I will show you how I get started and I'm gonna show you at the end how it all looks so you can follow the same color pattern or you can always um, look at a drawing of a rooster or a picture like a photograph and use the color pattern accordingly so now that we're almost done drawing, um, I will show you how the colors come about shortly. So we're just adding in the final touches now and we'll go into coloring. So I'm going to start off with the head part first and then we'll build our colors from there. And um, it also says here roosters are protectors. If you have a flock that free ranges, 
A rooster can be the ticket to safety for your hens. Remember genetic destiny. That comes into play here too. A rooster wants to live on through his offspring. You don't have offspring if you don't have the group of hens that are safe. A good rooster will take this duty seriously and keep an eye out at all times for trouble. So there you go, roosters protect the hens. Also, you can have more than one rooster. Um, and they can live with other roosters. In fact, some people set up bachelor pad coops devoted entirely to their roosters. It is easier to keep more than one rooster if they're all raised together from a young age or you introduce a new rooster while you introduce new hens. Some folks also have success introducing adult roosters. Just remember roosters will establish a pecking order as they learn how to get along and be prepared because some may never get along. And um, I know that in some countries, in some areas, they have like fights between roosters and they bet on each other and who gets killed over the other so um, maybe that's why uh, I'm not sure about that one though okay and um, roosters will help find food for the flock of course we chicken keepers it says on this website are ultimately in charge of what our roosters eat. Part of their feeding routine should include free ranging. Roosters can often be seen taking advantage of foraging during this time, but they won't always be seen eating the food they find. Instead, they will inspect the food and then let the hens know it's there by tidbitting. This is a behavior where the rooster clucks softly and moves his head up and down and with picking up bits of food and dropping them. A rooster's long wattles are said to be helpful, gaining hen's attention while he's tidbitting. Um, and then the hen will then eat first and the rooster will eat anything that's left over. This ensures the hens stay healthy to raise a rooster's offspring. Interesting, right? And um, roosters' spurs continuously grow. So um, a rooster's spurs grow throughout his life. And some roosters are good at keeping their spurs maintained at a reasonable length, others are not. If that's the case, human intervention may be needed. So now that I read a little bit from the website, I just want to go back to the drawing and talk about the colors that I used. So you can see that I used a lot of colors and I'm still using um, colors like blues and blacks and dark green. Uh, just to blend it all in and give it that nice colorful look for the rooster so you can do the same and follow along and I hope you really like this drawing I enjoyed drawing it and um, I hope you have fun facts that you would like to share as well and as always please let me know if there's any requests that you have for me to draw for next time. So the past couple of days I've been drawing uh, requested drawings. I really enjoy uh, drawing those because I know you guys requested it and wanted to see those. So I hope you enjoy them and I'm going to put some next videos for you too to check out next. And now that we are almost done with coloring, I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like. So this is the full color drawing. I hope you really, really love this. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you want to buy products with this rooster on, like aprons and even jigsaw puzzles and bedding material, laptop covers, phone covers, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below. And also I put some next videos for you, including the bird drawing playlist i hope you like that one as well and some other videos so and then subscribe to my channel by hitting the face logo 
So bye for now.